and welcome to our Hailsham Parish Church YouTube channel and this is Pulse Storytime. Now, how are you all doing? We are all shut up in our homes and our gardens, not being able to get out very much. But you know what? I've really been enjoying being able to be out in my garden, enjoying God's good creation. Um, all the plants and the flowers and the lovely sunshine that we've had over the last few weeks. And just being outside looking at the plants and the flowers made me think about our story time today. Now I have some seeds here that are waiting to be sown. But what do seeds need to help them grow? Can I plant these seeds in a box? Would that be helpful? I don't think so. What about in a book? That would be unusual, wouldn't it? But I don't think they grow. In a glass of water? No, I don't think that would work either. What about in my hair? Definitely not. But what, se what do seeds need to grow? Well, they need soil, good soil, don't they? And some water and some sunshine. We're going to come back to the seeds in a little bit. But it at Pulse, over the next few weeks, we are going to be thinking about and listening to some stories that Jesus told. Now, when Jesus, as he travelled around the countryside with his disciples, his special friends, large crowds of people would gather to hear what he had to say. But sometimes as Jesus was speaking and teaching, they didn't always understand. And so Jesus told stories or parables to help them understand what he wanted them to learn. And so in today's true story from the Bible, we are going to hear the story that Jesus told about a farmer who was sowing his seeds. And this story comes from the book of Luke in the Bible. So let's have a look right now at Luke chapter eight, Verses four to eight. A great crowd gathered. People were coming to Jesus from every town. And he told them this story. A farmer went out to plant his seed. While he was planting, some seed fell beside the road. People walked on the seed, and the birds ate all this seed. Some seed fell on rock. It began to grow, but then died because it had no water. Some seed fell among thorny weeds. This seed grew, but later the weeds choked the good plants. And some seed fell on good ground. This seed grew and made 100 times more grain. Jesus finished telling the story. Then he called out, let those with ears use them and listen. Jesus tells us that the seed that the farmer was planting in the story was God's word. We find God's word in the Bible. It is the truth about Jesus, good news sometimes called the gospel. And those who teach us from the Bible, like leaders at Pulse or holiday clubs or our Sunday school teachers, are like the farmer trying to plant the teaching of God's love in our hearts. So the sower sowed by sending the seed out. The sower sowed by sending the seed out. Wow, that's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Can you say that quickly? The sower sowed by sending the seed out. He threw the seed out onto the soil. And we are like the different types of soil, ground or situations in this story. So let's take a look. 
Do you remember where some of the seed first fell? It fell onto the path, didn't it? And what happened to that seed? Well, the birds came in and ate it up quickly. The word, the seeds were snatched away very quickly. So some people hear the words of God at home or at church, but straight away is snatched away and never grows. Have you heard the expression in one ear and out the other? It can be like that with God's word. Sometimes people hear, but they either don't agree or don't want to know anymore or just forget what they have heard really quickly. Second came the rocky soil. And this is like people who hear God's word, get excited by it and believe it for a while, but then their excitement fades away and their understanding doesn't grow deeper and take root in their hearts. And when trouble comes, they stop believing and they turn away from God. What about the seed that fell on the thorny soil? Sometimes people hear the word of God and they believe what it says, but they don't want Jesus to be king of their lives. They want to be in control of their own lives. Or they become worried by bad things or distracted by good things that take the place of Jesus. That is like planting the seed amongst the thorny weeds. And what happened to that seed? Or if those plants try and grow amongst thorny weeds? Well, the thorny weeds grow fast and they choke the plant, the good plants, and they take over and the good plants are lost. Now, the last seed and soil is the best. Do you remember? That's the seed that fell on the good soil, grew and grew and grew stronger and bared good fruit. The, the last seal, seed fell on the good ground and when God's word is heard by people who listen and obey his words every day, he causes them to grow stronger and stronger and they learn more about him. And as they learn and serve other people, other people come to know Jesus too, which is called bearing fruit. So if you learn from, if, from what you hear at Pulse or a holiday club or a Sunday school and church, the seed that Jesus plants in your heart will grow. Your life will produce good fruit, just like Jesus intended. And hopefully you will help others to grow, uh, to learn, to love Jesus, to learn more about him and understand, uh, have a greater understanding of God's love. Now it's really helpful for us to hear these words of Jesus so that we know that not everybody will hear about Jesus and come to believe. However, we shouldn't let this put us off. If we're excited about Jesus, then we should want to share him with other people and we can spread the good news about him by telling others about him and his love for us. We can't see in people's hearts and we don't know if they will be happy to hear about Jesus. But only God can change their hearts so that they can come to love Jesus for themselves and that they might then grow and know him. But it's been so good that you have been here today to listen to God's word, to hear these words of Jesus and pray that you might be good soil and those seeds will be growing and you will want to know more and more about Jesus and you'll be excited by how amazing he is. So I'm going to pray right now. 
Our Father God, please help us to be like the good soil in our story today. Help us to listen to your word, be excited about Jesus, and to grow up to be the kind of children and young people that you want us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So what about those seeds that I started with at the beginning then? Well, perhaps you've got some seeds around at home. Or if not, supermarkets quite often sell packets of seeds like these, and you might want to grow some. And all you need to do that is uh, have a cup or a yogurt pot. Don't grow, try and grow your seeds in a box or a glass of water or in your hair. No, grab a, a cup like this or an old yogurt pot that's been washed out. And then you just need probably a bit of kitchen roll. That's what I'm gonna tuck in here. And I've got a bit of cotton wool to go on the top, just like that. And then you can get some of the seeds and sprinkle some of them on top of the cotton wool like that. And then just add a little bit, don't drown them, a little bit of water onto your cotton wool there just to get your seeds going and don't forget to water them as they dry out and you can pop that on a windowsill and within days you will have some lovely crest seeds too to put in your sandwiches or in your salad and on this cup I've written can you see God's word is like a seed God's word is like a seed now, thanks for being here today. There are a couple of links that I've added um, underneath this recording um, with some songs that we sing sometimes at Pulse. And you might want to sing them. Uh, one of them is Our Great Big God. And you can, I'm sure that you know the actions to that. And the other one is a song by Awesome Cutlery that tells us about God's word, how it's a light and a hammer, a fire and a sword. And um, you can click on the link and sing that one too, if you want to. Now, I hope you're excited by Jesus and um, you want to know more. And you can join us again on Sunday morning, if you'd like to, when Corrie will be doing a Sunday school lesson. Or I'll be back again next Tuesday with another Pulse story. But in the meantime, stay safe and have a good week. Bye.